<sighs> we finally found it. I, I, I love gonna... how the first thing we come to is just like heavy sonic breathing. Jeez. 20 minutes we were in there. That's 20 minutes too long. I miss running fast. So what's color? Which color one was this one? The, 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 one. the clear blue one, light blue one. I think this one? is the white one. Yeah, it's the white. It's uh, the oh. gray one. The crystallized one. The what? The one from Crash Bandicoot. I was about to. I was actually. Oh wait. It, okay, yeah. So, honestly, it was almost hard to tell because of the uh, highlights. But uh, yeah, but like I can imagine literally Crash just pump pops it out of nowhere, just yanks the thing. Oh, just grabs yeah, it. just imagine Zing. it's like the final chaos emerald. So you're helping Cortex gather crystals. And just, just. So you're helping Eggman gather crystals. Could, do you think more? Do you think Maurice Lamars could do an Eggman? I, I, sure I could see him. He could. Yeah. So yeah, all's well that ends well. Yeah. Yeah. What they said. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Great. great for you. Yep. I'm gonna be stuck a werehog for the rest of my life. It's You'll know that. To you. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. I've been. Yeah, I've been through worse. Come here, buddy. <laughs> 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 Who's up for round two? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, memories. Oh, oh yeah. By the way, how's Tails doing? Oh, Tails, how are you up? What are you up to? Oh, the chip just ramps into the plane. <laughs> <laughs> what happened up there, Tails? Absolutely nothing. Air Patrol isn't as, isn't as, isn't as great as they say. Applauds for you. I love the quality of the... Uh, Whoa, that was a weird little... Yeah. Okay, that wasn't just me. Uh, there no, I think that, 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 that was, was me. Oh! 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 And, oh! Tails is, Tails down. Uh, and Tails is immediately shot out of the plot again. By Chip. No, he's not Chip. But Chip's down here, but... See, Sonic Generations and Sonic Forces did spoil us a bit, but it's time to see what the beginning of this whole big prototype Dude. began as. Yay, Dragoon. Which, I, I'll i still say, I think the Dragoon is one of his more menacing-looking mechs. I oh, yeah. Agree. I do. I do. And I mean, hey, it's, it, it, if, if nothing else, it is kind of neat that, you know... Eggman was was pretty much true to his word that he was going to you know, you know keep trying to fiddle with this whole machine. So it's all finished and yep, his big ultimate mech. I do want to know Egg like Dragoon. if the Ectragoon was initially fueled by Dark Eye energy and he keeps making more of them, what fuels them in the other two iterations? Uh, I don't Shut know up. actually. It could be just advanced <laughs> fan... programming for all we know. Well, I know the. Well, I know the. Fa I would say the. Fa well, I would say this. I would say this. I, the Phantom Ruby and Forces, which can pretty much replicate Gaia energy for all we know, and in generations he probably just went back in time to when he had Gaia energy to create That's to fair. use that against us. Yeah, yeah that or, maybe, or I was about to say maybe he had a Chaos Emerald on standby, but then again, Sonic and Ooh. Sonic and Co were collecting them. So now, what can, why can we have more moments like uh, that? Uh, uh, no kidding. Uh, all right. And also, I just now noticed that, yeah, looking at the design, yeah, he wasn't he wasn't joking. This is the grand prototype. This is this is based on that mech he used in the opening cutscene, just improved. Yeah. Oh, fancy that. So, get ready for the first of many boss fights. In this part. And the only actually... one where we fight Eggman as the werehog. But, we'll say right now, actually not that hard. Yeah, it, no, it's it not that hard at all. Fight. Yeah. If you know how to do this, you can. And there, are, I'll show off. I'll even show it later. There's a phase where if you're quick enough and know and have a good amount of like rep, you have a good enough repertoire, you can actually cheese this boss really good. Oh, there you yep. go. That's what you have to do. Hit him right where the sun don't shine. Okay, now I'm gonna meet him here and. Ow! Ow! Oh, get away! Get away! Get away! Oh, I should have gone. I actually should have stayed close to him. <laughs> Shepardy, Shep, sir! Ow! I want to boil eggs. The Here green red are suspicious. No kidding, Chip. That's the weak point. Exactly. It's his nerds. It's all the nerds. Uh, it's that's it's the um. What's the name of the movie that's referencing? Whoa. I'm not sure, but uh, Patrick Warburton said it once. In what movie? 
No, he didn't I, say I it in think... a movie. He said it behind the scenes for like a reaction yeah. video. He probably uh... was referencing the movie though. Um... Monster Squad, that's the game. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, because you know, we're one having Nards. Ha. It's like right here. If you can get this going, and you can keep hitting him before he can block, and you can basically cheese him. Wow, that's kind of pathetic. I get. Ow. Ow. Oh, uh -oh. No Johns. Nope. Ah. Grab him already. Thank you. Get off. Yeehaw. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be aiming at yourself, Eggman. Oop. Yeah. That's gonna oh. sting. I'm gonna grab this. Hey, you weren't using this, right? Actually, I was. <laughs> and now the mashed up buttons. And now his auxiliary power is offline. Blast you, Sonic. Curses. Oh. What should we do Dang. now? Too bad he has a backup. Wait, oh, he's firing the giant hyper drill. Uh oh. Oh, it... oh We're yeah. We're about to then... go underground. We're free falling. My head's spinning. It's like, you simmer down. <laughs> I like how he's like, Yo, geez, Eggman, oh, simmer geez. down. Oh, crap. Now we're literally diving deep into the Earth's core. Yeah. We are. My goodness Ooh, gracious. Ooh, careful. Oh, Eggman's got it a gun. <laughs> Sonic's he on the run. <laughs> He's always got a gun. That's the. I'm more confused when he doesn't have a gun. I know. I was referencing an Aerosmith song. I know. Remember when he actually I... did point, point, a, point a gun right up, right to Amy's head? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah you was did. that in the Japanese version or was that in all versions? That's no, all it was versions. in all versions. It was in all Jeez, versions. I, I would have sworn. I could have sworn they would have like censored that out in later things well, like four kid it's, style. The gun itself is kind of cartoony, but it's still a double damn gun. I could absolutely see. I could absolutely have seen if it was back in Four Kids Day, they would have just given him a finger gun. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised that that's what <laughs> they're doing. Four Kids stuff. You know what? Or I just imagine it'd be a fake out. It it would look like he's just holding up a finger gun, but he has like plasma bolts hidden in the fingertips. Oh no! Yeah, no, yeah, he probably would do that just to play the double foul. I could see it. <laughs> Come on. You think Eggman egg would learn this to, you know, maybe position the Dragoon a little easier, better, so that he doesn't, Sonic can't reach the uh, green nards. Again, just gotta get them level up so you can do. Oh, not so. Dang it! Okay, come on. No, come on. Wait for the mechs to go down. There we go. So close. One more hit. One more hit. Get to position and. Gotta reach a little harder than that. Oh god, we gotta go diving again. Sorry, mechs. Yeah. Oh, I thought he meant. Oh, I thought he meant. I thought he said die, not dive. I, I will oh. admit that probably is, as far as I know, like the most like overt Eggman. Like he actually just straight up says die already. He gets pretty ticked. Well, we we've been filling his plans how many times now? Too oh, wow. many three. to count. Yeah, that, three. Uh, uh, really, only three? Yeah, just a. <laughs> really? Ah, oh, I got it. There. <laughs> One more QTE and we got this in the bag. I'm not right. really sure how to feel about that, I'm not gonna lie. How are you hanging in the Earth's core, <laughs> Seely? Yeah, how are you doing, Seely? I'm good. Alright. Just a We're hanging out for dear life! <laughs> oh right, I forgot. What were you gonna say? Whoa! <laughs> hey, hey, hey sitting there. Dude. Oh, Dude. Get out of there! Let's pry him open and. Okay. I love no, 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 no! Get out of there okay. already! Oh my god! Oh. Whoa! Get out! <laughs> and no more oh. Eggman to worry about. For now. <laughs> well, well no, more we'll like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh that's nuts. right! Yeah, where you actually see that, like, behind his glasses, he still has those sad AMIs. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I can understand in the case of that continuity, but it's like, it's so fucking weird to see. Well, we would you rather him have the regular blue eyes he has in those six? Huh? Well, more on that later, because uh, let's, re let's remember who the real villain of this game is. Someone's snooze alarm finally went off for real. Yep, it took a while, but Dark Guy has finally been... 
properly awaken. Fi fo fum. I smell the blood of a Hitler hot bum. <laughs> Ouch. Wow, that's actually really good, but also. Oh, look at the Dreamcast. Oh, goody, I was in the mood for eggs. <laughs> you don't know, you can't control this behemoth. And we can now show this other bit is similar to Froggy with Chaos's tail. Oh, get out of there. <clears throat> yeah, let's get you to, let's get the little guy to safety first. Gosh, that fur physics is I was gonna say, yeah. Yeah. What is mine? Oh, gosh! Sonic! In, in, in some sense, he's actually being helped out here because, yeah, the reason why we can become a werehog is because when that grand thing exploded, what happened was that, like, with, like, again, like with Froggy with Chaos's tail, we had accidentally sucked in some of Dark Gaia's power. All the way from Eggman's base. That's honestly impressive. So that's what was fueling us into becoming a werehog all along. Like, how far did, how, how far did his influence go? And, yeah, he's back to normal. For good this time. We've been cured! Yeah, but he kind of took a lot of... He took our energy with him. But it looks like Chip has a plan of his own. Dude. Light Gaia will return. And all that. After these messages. Moving on. <laughs> Seven lights of the earth rekindle. I n and, and now hear me out here. Give me the visual here of... You've, you, we, these ruins have been discovered and an archaeologist is like leading a tour group. Now, if you see these ancient ruins, oh. we can find that... Oh, God! <laughs> the whole thing just gets plucked from the earth with the archaeologist you team. You know, that within. shot in particular reminds me of Babylon <clears throat> Garden. That oh, was also thinking of the same oh thing. God. Imagine if one of, those, one of those, like, those temples really was Babylon Garden. Maybe. Actually, it'd be a nice idea. But, but anyway, again, we take we take the Gaia temples and literally form our very own Transformer. Mega. It's a freaking ancient rural Megazord. Also, um... Actually, yeah, that, would be, again, that makes better sense. Once again, took us a long time to get to this point, but again, these that, that movie that movie studio's cutscenes are just a, a second to none as far as I've seen so far. Oh, too yeah, good for, for this sure. franchise. So, behold, Light Gaia... Just imagine how much how much manpower and and, and money went up. Whoa! That was almost really awkward for a second. That, that okay. was almost really awkward. But thank you, Texture, for loading in in time. Otherwise, that would have been really bad. So yeah. What? We're stuck between a rock and a hard thing. <laughs> so, welcome to the final battle against Dark Gaia. And I want to say right now. I know a lot of people prefer the HD version for a lot of reasons. I'm just going to drop some cold hard facts right now. I think the Wii version handles the whole Dark Eye thing much better. I kind of uh, do, too, not going to lie. Okay, they so to give, you, they, to give you clarity, yeah, Logan, so... Um, I'll be right back. You, okay. Right. okay. So to give you clarity, <clears throat> you know how in this section you're pretty much dodging all these flaming rocks that Dark Eye is chucking at you? Um, yeah. In the Wii version, it's basically punch out. Like, you're literally just smacking the tar out of them. Yeah. Well, you can you can smack them, but yeah, I agree. And like, like ah, oh, dang it! You have to time it. You have to time it a little carefully. Oh, and then whenever he starts doing that, get as close as you can and get ready to guard. Otherwise, you will take a lot of damage and move away. But you know, I can hear you. I, I definitely understand where you're coming from, especially when we get to the reason why my game crashed a little bit later into the sequence. I had to do this twice. This part drags. Yeah. It does drag. It's it's way too slow for its own good, and I mean, it is literally the, the worst of two evils. But overall, I never, I never care too much for the guy, guy Colossus stuff either here, nor in the Wii version. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate in the Wii version you actually have the gratification of like this thing you're doing right here is pretty much all you do in the Wii version, and I kind of prefer oh. that as opposed to like beforehand where you have to do like the dodging, the projectiles, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. yeah and all, do this, but like, it's like I, neither one's really all that impressive. Because you gotta do it like so many times, and it really cuts out a bit of the fluff. And the well, fight. actually, so, speaking of fluff, that's also <clears throat> another thing I will say. Um, I might be wrong, but as far as I remember, the way it happens is that so you do this, then you're gonna cut the sauna going through the temple. In the HD version, you actually have to repeat that like a number of times. Whereas Three in the times. Wii version, whereas in the Wii version, you do the punch out thing once. Then with Sonic, you pretty much do all of the temple runs in one order. Then you go to the Super Sonic phase. Which that's oh. that's that's completely fair to it. Like that's that's fair, but it's just 
yeah, again, so, the whole, the whole gosh. guy colossus stuff, either way, could have been handled better. So each of these sections were a little, these ones were a little frustrating for me to get down right. You were given, like, 15 back. seconds. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are given 15 seconds to clear these stages as fast as possible. Otherwise, it's an instant, like, you, you Ow, instantly lose a oh, 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 my eye. So there's, so there's his left eye down. Oh, God, that sucks. And then, yeah, then, that's like I described, you gotta do it all over again yeah. two more times. Like, literally, that's, that, what just happened there is honestly what I was feeling the other night when I felt something get caught in my eye. Oh, uh, my eye actually yeah, got really irritated because of the allergies. Yeah, that's why I actually have to go back, I have something in my eye. I know, oh, just oh. allergies and just... Well, well, Dark Guy's gonna have two more things in his eye in just a minute. Uh, as soon as I get over there across the frickin' hallway... <laughs> He's gonna have more things in his eye. My fist right up his eye! <laughs> Actually, no, I, think about I could only imagine Guy Colossus literally pulling a Three Stooges thing on him. Three Stooges? <laughs> I know! Just... Boop, frickin' <laughs> oh, and... Got it. Yeah, you have to like oh, time good. it a little bit ahead of time to got to truly get past it and see if I can lead the shot and I can also, honestly I can sort sort of understand why it why they made it this way at this I mean it still slows molasses and I'd rather they make it much faster, but at the same time I can sort of understand the mentality of why how they tried to develop this part because these are both giant colossi and they're well colossi are generally pretty slow and sluggish. Mm -hmm. Don't But you know I play. I play. I play finales that are kind of like this. That are just more faster and more fun. Yeah. Mm. Don't ask me to immediately think of one off the top of my head, but Don't. I'm sure I played at least one or two better ones. Don't. It's just keep taking it. These are very. Oh yeah. If I, if I haven't already mentioned. Give me it, a hug, um... you little shit. Oh yeah. If I haven't already mentioned it, one other thing that unfortunately I will have to, you know, deduct points from this final boss for is. When we get to the, like, very end of this whole thing, like, th this section does rely a lot on QTEs. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's not as I bad mean, as Sly 4 with its QTEs, well, at least with I how say it, many there are. I would say are, it is but... a little bit worse in some regard, but we'll wait till we get to it. Dun, 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 oh, 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 not again. Dun. I'll say, it, I'll, say it's, I'll say it's better in that there aren't as many, but I will agree with you that it's worse because it's very, very strict. If you mess up, yeah. you die. Also, something I just also remembered, I know it's a small thing, but I guess it goes to show how much stronger he is in the Wii version. In the Wii version, when he does like the eye thing, he only has to hit it once for the eye to get knocked out, whereas him, whereas here, he does have to hit it a few times. Well, I like the He's so aggressive. One, but, but I like, yeah, I like the impact of it all, but yeah. Um... Now, as far as the music is concerned, I did love. I remember. I remember really enjoying that um, that remix that you found back when we did Generations the first time. Hype where it was like I think it was a mashup of this Solara well, Phase Two and the uh, Dark Wisp thing. Yeah, it was a mashup of. Well, we haven't gotten to Phase Two of this just yet. We're in the middle of Phase One still. Okay, but I know. Well, I mean, it was. It was. It was okay. So it was Phase Two of this Solara Phase Two, which is one of my favorite tracks in 06. And and, and the Dark Guy was Phase Two. Okay, okay. We're almost. So a basically, of all, way there. Bas basically all the orchestral versions of their respective theme songs, which is awesome. It was re that 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 should have been the Generations final boss. Yeah, just, I, I, honestly, just anything better than the the actual final boss. Because I'll say it's oh. like. It's good for cutscene oh, music. God. I'm not gonna... ah! oh, 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 man. Now, fortunately, if I'm correct, looking at the eyes, it d there is a checkpoint. Thank God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell the two eyes are dulled. Are still out, Because yeah. otherwise, my gosh, I would have been very, very frustrated. Me oh, too. I hear ya. Also, my apologies for keeping this in, but I guess I wanted to just show off, like, yeah, no, this can be a very tedious part yeah. if you're not careful. But yeah, like I was saying, it's like, I, I, I do like that I use that instead. Honestly, it's just, I remember when I first played the game, I used what I made of because it was the only final boss theme from a previous game that I unlocked at that point. Honestly, just anything's better than the actual final boss theme from Generations because I like it in terms of cutscene music. As final boss music, it's too underwhelming. I will mm -hmm. say this much, though, because uh, we actually have been talking about the possibility of redoing that commentary, especially now that Hype has a better means of recording it. Yeah. Oh, Honestly, really? I don't think you, I don't think yeah. Uh, well, the thing we'll is that like him. when he says that he basically means that um, 
I have the better capture cord, but we still need to get the thing I need so that I can actually record PS3 footage with it. We we will get it figured out. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that's why I've already I already have it ordered. It should be there sometime in the next week or so. Anyways, I was gonna say, I don't think we should pull that shit again. We should we should honestly treat it. We should honestly treat that part, you know, as it was intended, because otherwise it'd just be a repeat of a, what we've done previously. Oh. Fair. But again, it was it was still fun and it was still a nice like you know. It was amusing, I, but it's just one of those cases where I think you know okay. that magic can only work once. Yeah, no, don't you charge no beam on me. Get that out of here. What did I just say? Stop yeah, charging yeah. the beam. Keep if your you mouth charge closed, a beam you big, one more time, you, you oh my God. no one taught you manners. <laughs> no one taught you manners. Do they even? Oh my God, Mama said dinner not is not way. until six. What? It's like, and he, and he, and he just grabs you like, bro, why did you do that? It's just like, what? Just so like dude, the lo chill. Logan, the, like, dark guy grabs the, like, Colossus, and it's like, why are you bury me on the ground? <laughs> it makes sense, Alice. <laughs> Many millennia, all you've done is bury me in the, in the cold, cold, cold ground. And, and, and the, and that's the ironic part. He thinks this is cold. Anyway, I actually oh, yeah, noticed no, that true. they give you an additional 15 seconds for this. Oh yeah, no, the, if it was 50 seconds across all three, I no, no way. This also this one in particular, this one I did not like. This one, this one you have to be. Oh crap! Oh yeah, that's oh god! Not, like, per hurry, hurry, hurry! Not perfect. God. Ah! Yeah, no. Stuff like this, if you are not perfect, you're not gonna do too hot. But there, the last eye. Destroy. Oh, I need that eye to see. Oh my gosh! Did you see that twinkle in his teeth? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, how you know he's cool. Yeah, <laughs> and I just want to say, like, you think that was gross? We're about to see living proof that Dark Gaia, for all he's worth, is probably the grossest final boss in the it's series. Like, and, and oh, he's yeah. like, gee, he, Osage's just like, jeez, how many more eyes do I have to take care of today? Uh. Well, give it a second. Uh oh. Let me show you. You oh, sorry, the best. As soon as it gets to that cutscene, you know, the Joko's gonna, yeah, the Joko's trying to pull like, geez, how many more eyes? Oh, oh that's Jesus, right, he's, 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 uh -oh. he's admitting his depression, he's, he's admitting his depression funk all across the planet. Oh, oh everyone shall Ooh. act crazy. The mist. The mist of sadness and woe. Again, I do like how expressive these guys are as opposed to the CGI pe the live action people in 06. Adventure 2, yeah. Or 06, <laughs> okay. Two. Oh, Amy, right. What's happening? It was bright daylight a minute ago. I'm too old for this. Dark Gaia has regained its true power. The beast is complete. <gasps> it's just as the Gaia manuscripts for... Uh, you could have told us this part. It. You could have told us about this part. I thought you did. Well, he didn't tell us about the part where everything just falls into destruction. Oh, jeez, not Professor Pickle. He was our beacon of hope. Well, at least we still have Amy to back him up. Darn tootin' you do! Wait, got and this Sonic. This is actually, this is honestly a case where, you know, Amy's confidence, you know, overall confidence in Sonic actually makes sense, as opposed to how she it was portrayed in Sonic 06. Oh, here it is right yeah. now. So, yeah, so how this. many goddamn yeah. eyes do I have to destroy today? Hold on. Whoa. Actually, uh, a lot. First off, he needs a few extra arms. Jeez, and I thought, and I thought the freaking, I thought the gore in the CG in the CGI cutscenes of Ani Musha were were pretty uh, grotesque. Yeah, this is disgusting. Yeah, he, he's got a couple more eyes and tongues. Actually, I, I wasn't sure if you heard me, but as soon as the giant eye popped out because of the way it glow, I said, "Resident Evil." Oh God, <laughs> Resident Evil. And now it's time for Sonic to do what he does best. Oh, there it is. All seven emeralds. Something's wrong with my ball. Thankfully, we're... Here with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. But, but yeah, thankfully all the seven emeralds were still in the guy temples, and they're just in time to, you know, do its thing. So, behold. Again, I guess this is a pretty great... Restoring all the emeralds, like, is a pretty big thing, but yeah. Behold, the last time Super Sonic was story relevant. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of, sort of. Yep. Actually, yes. Dark guy. Sonic Generations, and then there's also the DS version of Colors. But yeah, here we go. Super Sonic time. Oh, Super Sonic was in was in Colors. Uh, yeah, the DS. Well, the, yeah, he the was DS in both versions, version. but he was relevant in the DS. Uh, it was story relevant in the DS version. 
And uh, once again, if Celie, since Celie's kind of new to this, Supersonic only works as long as we can keep him, keep giving him rings. Otherwise, he constantly drains it, it, it constantly drains his ring energy. So I need to continuously get rings. Otherwise, he will just die. Yeah. Or just fall out, run out of energy, which I don't think we want to try and run out of energy. Yeah. But his shield is too strong. Yeah. But what are we gonna do about that shield? Oh, wait. What's yeah. Not even Supersonic can penetrate through that thing. Chip. Huh? Whoa. Oh, he actually went and made it through. I think they could have betrayed this bit a little, a little better. <laughs> it's like, bet, yeah. oh, wow, you just kind of walked forward a bit and, oh, nice. Don't. You beat him up. And you know what? I'm Sorry. not going to lie. This is also another reason why I kind of prefer the Wii version, because this always felt really awkward to me. Like, the way you have to, like, drive around this orb surface, knocking out these little tendrils poking out. Yeah. It's not as bad. Like, you just imagine, like, it's not directly one-to-one. -one. It almost is more like, um... I, I don't want to say, like, Pac-Man, but it's like, like, Geom... Like, it, it's like a twin-stick shooter kind of control, almost. What's funny is, is that, um... One thing that you can actually do with Supersonic in this portion... Uh, I don't think it actually has any sort of ah. gameplay relevance, but you can actually do a parallel. Oh, oh, really? Like a... Oh, like an actual... Like, and actually deals damage, or...? I think. I could be wrong, but I am aware that there is a parallel feature in this, uh... That ah. goes, like, Again, I'm not sure if it has any practicality to it. It's just probably might have been rev revenants of the uh, scrap portion of the fight. Chip, keep him distracted. He's doing a lot of damage to me. Thank you, Chip. And unfortunately, it looks like Celie will have to bow for the rest of the video. But, oh, I mean... Nice. Honestly, it feels like she was... I mean, no offense, Celie, but you, it kind of felt like a non-entity throughout this entire commentary. So. She was observing a lot of it, but... It's all about discovering new things, but I, oh yeah, there's the power. Oh, you know the endless possibilities. There. Oh, there you are. There she is. Uh, welcome back, Sealy. Oh. Welcome back. Right, you got, uh, you can you hear us? Indeed. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, uh, good. Okay. Never, never mind what I said previously. Never mind uh, you, anything we just said previously. Wanna, yeah, you might you might want to like maybe either turn up your input or get closer to the mic though. Just a little what? bit. No, you're fine. That's good. You're good. We're now. just taking down the last. We're just taking the down the last of this shield. Couple more and those hits. stupid snakes. Okay, the shield's down. Now we can fight. Uh, should you be standing there, though? I think he's kind of oh, ah! ticked. Yeah, he should have done something. But you know what? That, that's what Supersonic's for, at the very least. Because yeah, well, the rest of this boss fight is literally just QTEs. Dude, don't mess any of them up. Otherwise, yeah, I'll probably start over again. I think you do. Oh yeah, yeah. And, keep, and keep your and keep your thumbs prepared for the very last one. Oh, oh yeah. boy, get ready. Uh, is the Wii version like this? No, the Wii uh, version no. is basically like you know, the Wii version is basically imagine the final boss of Secret Rings only done better. Oh, Dark Spine Sonic was weird. Dark Spine Sonic was okay. Don't. And we are ready to go for one last assault. Get ready to mash that button. Mash your button time! Times. 60 times! And you only have so much time to do so! Uh, done. There you I don't go. Think they don't actually make it clear on how much time you actually have at that part. But, but aside from one last part hit to go! Oh. Man. <laughs> Here's <laughs> Chad. Why don't we just get in there? Wow. Just oh, okay, never mind. This is the last bit. I forgot. Blast through all you, you of him. Clip through oh, you just face right through his thumb! <laughs> oh! oh. He just acted like a bullet through his head. He just literally Sonic is just like Sonic. Dude, imagine Sonic just covered in green goop. Like, ew, never doing that again. Oh god. Why did I think that was a good idea? As someone who's experienced. Wow, this is kind of gruesome. Yeah. I know. As right? someone who's as someone who's as someone who's seen CG woman fly cooch in, this is Onimusha? still pretty grotesque. Jeez, Onimusha's weird. Yes, it is, and I can't wait to show you guys. Oh god. I don't know if I want to see that, though. You did oh, good. It's, it's, all, it's also a Capcom IP. But anyway. There you go. Ow. Oh. oh. Don't worry, I got you, buddy. Oh. Oh. Almost was in the lava again. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, that there also proves that, yeah, when we fell as Werehog, it was because of Light Gaia that stopped us from plummeting into the ground. That's... So, so Hype, when they say about, like, never explain it, I think it's heavily implied that the reason why Werehog Sonic was saved at the very beginning was because Light Gaia sa cushioned him... But then, you know, let him fall the extra 20 feet, because, I mean, he's got to learn his lesson somehow. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's Sonic's pretty durable, but I don't think he's that durable. 
Then again, he, then again, this is the same hedgehog that literally fell from the fell from space while carrying vanilla in his arms. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. True. His feet, his legs were still fine like from that. the impact. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, how's Eggman been doing? How you doing, bud? Oh, I'm sure he took that loss well. <laughs> Where are we anyway? Ah, good old Charlie Brown. <laughs> Run! Run! Good grief. Oh, he'll My get words his exactly, Sealy. <laughs> I wonder how much fun Mike has whenever he does like those angry Eggman grumbles, like. <laughs> yeah. And the world is returned to peace. I, n I was never freaking out on my knees earlier. Shut up, you saw nothing. I told you, didn't I? There was no way Sonic would let something like that happen. Just again, I do appreciate when, you know, as cliche as it is, this is like one of those rare moments where Amy act Amy's whole darkness is a part of our Batman and traits is actually Yeah, it's very it's pretty much tolerable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or it, it just, excuse me, I mean, it's like stock film, but well, I think it's, you know what I mean. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, to be fair, you see less of Amy in this game. She's just well, a supportive friend. Oh, well, exactly, a supportive friend. I like this little guy coming up right here. Um, right here. Yeah, I, did, see, I, did, I did, I did, I'm Parappa, anyway. Yeah, you tell him like it is. Kind of like that kind of character. And they say that mocap wasn't using the Sonic games again. Well, they used it for the humans, just not the Sonic characters. Because it looks better, it, it doesn't, because it looks weird when Sonic characters are totally acting like people in costumes. Yeah. But, meanwhile, we're still, oh yeah, by the way, we're still in the core, Amy. Uh, we may want to get out of there. there. Yeah, well, Sonic I think, might want to get out of there. I think Sonic's, start, I think start, Sonic's first starting to uh, peel off. <laughs> oh. Nah, I'm kidding. Sonic. Hi. Sonic. <laughs> Goodbye. You must live to see your franchise hopefully be be good again. Oh, a little more clipping. Again, emulator. I mean, the fact again, the fact we were able to run this game on an emulator is still freaking impressive. Yeah, the fact that we got to this point and anyway. Oh, oh, go oh home, God, Logan. Sonic. I I I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, oh, sorry. I, I won't. I won't edit it in just because you know the joke's already been made there. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was totally thinking at the second it's like, oh, that's right. He does just chuck him. But goodbye, Chip. And so that's it for Chip. Oh, oh bookend. Not again. <laughs> oh. oh. Ow. What if uh, I just yeah. play the entire? What if I just play that entire clip in reverse? So it goes ah, into space and. <laughs> you know. You know, ten years from now, I wouldn't be surprised if my face ends up just being a doormat. Yeah. <laughs> just flattened. You know, Come how many on. times I land on my face, I'm surprised it's not permanently flattened by now. <sighs> I mean, it kind of looks like it's been flattened a key, but I mean, it's not, his nose isn't quite as protruding as it used to be. Can't, oh no, it's been shortened. Can't believe I'm like, oh, wait, Chip? Chip? What? <gasps> Chip? What are you doing there? Chip? Oh no, it's oh. a memory. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> yeah, hey, you left a little trinket behind. Now I too can become Klonoa. God damn it! It does, it does, look, look, like, like it does look like the wind ring. He looks ring. like you posing, yeah. Oh, hang on. I mean, I know they weren't gonna keep it, but I kind of did, did, did Loki hope he would have Sonic would have just kept that thing on for the rest of the rest of his career. I know. Or at the very yeah, least, I, have it be like an unlockable like I, trinket you can put on him. Yeah. Or keep that, that funky th rock tune. Or you know, maybe pull pull a Zelda where basically. That trinket's he sort of gotta keep that trinket somewhere. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned this. But yeah, this is also one of the first games that, like, apart from all the other, uh, you know, Sonic 06 doesn't quite count because he already had like three other theme songs. This is the first one. I think this is the first Sonic game that did not have Crush 40 supply the main theme. Oh no, uh, this yeah, is no. actually this is actually the lead singer of Bowling for Soup. Oh cool. Huh. Fancy that. Yeah, they, and they they started and they started looking for folks? like popular singers. Go ahead, Ty, do your things. Yeah, pretty pretty much. I mean, lest we forget who was taking forces. But um, <laughs> but on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our commentary on Sonic Unleashed at long freaking last. Woo! Yeah. Honestly, part of and 
part of me doesn't mind leaving it for last, like, out of all the song games. I still think Generations is still definitely going to be my top favorite just because of how stable and how nice the levels and music are. But it, it, It's pretty much a, fully real, a, more, a more fully realized version of the gameplay established in this game, but even then, yeah. with Sonic Unleashed here, I just think... It may be it may be one of the more iffier of the boost formula games, but it, you can also argue it's the most ambitious, both oh, in its, in its scope and uh, clearly its budget. Because like, never has a Sonic game ever looked this good that like beforehand or even again. No, yeah, uh, I'd, pretty... argue gen I'd argue Generations looks as good, but that's just me. But, but, I'm, I'd, but argue, I'd, argue, with... I'd argue this game pulls more than what a Generations did, got away with. I would say that Generations did a really great job with the level design and stuff, but I think those, like, movie cinematics and, like, the opening and ending cut, like, those were, like... don't think they've ever pulled anything like that again since then. Yeah. Which is but, a shame, um, but, I mean, it is what it is. It, at the very least, for the next couple of games after after Unleashed, they did try <laughs> try to actually put the focus where it should, should have been, and it more or less mm -hmm. paid off. At least for a little while. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, you know, I'll start around. Uh, Hype, what did you think of this fun little adventure? I still, I still, um, what should I say? Even though I think the overall game itself is kind of mixed, I do appreciate the ambition and what it tried to do for the series. Like, considering, like, what came afterwards, it's like, it, it's so weird. Because, like, shortly after, shortly before we did this particular session, I just got through dealing with a bunch of, like, people that chewed me out for having the audacity to not like the writing and stuff like 06 and whatnot. It just really, mm -hmm. going going back to Unleashed, really hammers in the point of, like, I and I still stand by it. I think Unleashed is probably the closest we've ever gotten from then, even to now, to, like, a genuinely good Sonic story, because, at least in terms of tone, because it does take itself seriously, but it still remembers that it's a Devil Damn cartoon. Yeah. 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 It remembers that. It, it, remembers, it remembers it's a Sonic game, and, well... I mean, a good Sonic game should have a story that, you know, has some stakes, but at the same time does, just knows when to have fun with itself. Mm -hmm. Which I, also makes I, me wonder if there's ever going to come a point where, you know, maybe Sega will call upon Platinum to make a Sonic game. But. Oh, that'd be fun. But yeah, I, and then I genuinely, yeah, I agree full wholeheartedly that, like, it is still incredible to see, like, how much of an about-face this game was after Sonic 06 and Shadow and Secret Rings, like... Before, like, I still think things really peaked with generations and colors. Well, um, peaked in a gameplay standpoint, anyway. Right, but yeah, no, I, I, I just, but I love, but I do love this whole globe trotting adventure thing they pulled off. And um, I really do wish this game put more, more of an emphasis on it than they than it did. And because you know, we always will. We've said it before, and everyone's pretty much said it. Like, it's pretty much a dead horse at this point. But like, the Werehog did kind of sour things a bit. In a couple areas, it was definitely a middling ground when people saw it. It's, but I'm glad that it didn't get in the way of the daytime levels. Like I'm glad it didn't like. I'm glad that gimmick didn't interfere on the daytime stages. Yeah, I agree. Like land the one time. Oh yeah, I forgot about this dude. Oh, yeah, you yeah, can, this guy. yeah, you can find that guy somewhere. I forgot about yeah, something. Yeah, off, yeah uh, the side missions in the game. Yeah, okay. I mean, you really did. You pretty much ignored most, if not all, the humans and characters in this game. I noticed. I just wanted to just get the. I didn't know how long it would last, which again, the fact that. I, I, again, I'm amazed that out of all the out of all the versions, I bought and owned it on 360 on PS3, and yet it was a PC emulator that ended up being the one I recorded. Se Sega Sonic Team, put this on Steam already. Seriously, this is the one game. I'm serious. I think this is like the one mainline Sonic game that cannot be played on Steam right now. That and Colors. Nope. Oh yeah, Colors. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, just those two games though. Hello, Mr. Yeah, Marty. I'll be right back, guys. No okay. worries. Um. So and, so, go, and so they left to four, go to the circus. Yeah. So I guess, I, okay, just to kind of get that out there, since I know you were kind of in and outside, so I'm not expecting, like, you know, like, whole essay paragraphs or something. But, um, Sealy, what did you, uh, from what you saw, what did you think of this as, like, a Sonic stuff? It's interesting. I like the Werehog concept. Mm -hmm. Really? They did, and they did explore and it. I wish uh, I could have seen more. Sorry. Well, I'll tell you what, um, sis, like, sometime... Maybe not tonight, but sometime eventually, you and I can, like, just marathon at least... Maybe not, like, an entire playthrough, at least the cutscenes of the game. Alrighty. I mean, I guess I could also say just... As much shit as we'll give the Werehog, I don't hate it as a concept. I just hate it, hate it, hate its execution because it literally is just a bonafide God of War clone. And I, that's you know, not something I'm looking for in Sonic. It really is kind of amusing because I actually am of the opposite opinion where it's like... 
back then and even now, I still think it's kind of a stupid idea, but the execution I actually thought was a lot better than I was expecting to it to be going in. If, it depends yeah, on what you're going for. It. Like, you saw there at the very end in Eggman Land, like, I knew, like, I had to, like, figure out, like, there's Bowling Soup. I had to, like, figure out, okay, some of these battles, if you're going for, like, every single battle and go very completionist, then the game is going to be, unfortunately, a bit of a slog. Um, it's all about, I guess, like, trying to find ways to, like, optimize it. Uh, James, what did you think of the, you know, grand journey and stuff in your time with it? I mean, I mean, yeah, if, if what I've been saying throughout the entire commentary isn't evident enough, I do think that, again, this is definitely a game I appreciate as for existing, and at least a good chunk, at least a good half of it is still easily some of the most solid stuff that you'll ever find in a Sonic game. It's mm -hmm. just that, again, the Werehog stuff is just, it's a mixed bag to me. Because <laughs> I, I could see the potential in, in it being, oh, hey, Goo hey Guri Hero. They yeah, actually, cool. actually, they actually acknowledge him in the credits. That's sweet. But um, anyway, just, I kind of would have preferred if the gameplay was more, it, 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 it feel more like, you know, what Sonic is known right for. Back. Like, mostly fat, mostly okay, fast okay. and keeping, yeah, focusing on fast gameplay. And, well, maybe not so much like super duper fast, but like something that's both fast and full of flow. Because I think mm -hmm. that's where Sonic shines the most. And I think you, that can be applied to a gameplay style that's not where you're running at like a thousand miles an hour. Right. But so it's that... like, instead of the, it, they did it like the, they pretty much had to pull it like, pull it this way just because, well, Sega feared that, well, the, the, the Sonic daytime stuff wouldn't have been enough to, to, um, last in people's minds just because after a while it does kind of, it kind of makes the game a shorter one as a result and I get that. Mm -hmm. It's just that, it's, it's really, <clears throat> what am I trying what else am I trying to really say here other than stating no, the really fucking there was ambition. Yeah, there was ambition. There was a plan here, I guess. In the meanwhile, like, I mean, taking it from me, who had to play this game a couple times to get it all figured out and recorded. If you Nick. want to... You're welcome back. If you want to play, I think, <clears throat> what the best... I think If you want to play the best of what I think this game can offer, look up a mod called the Unleashed Project for Sonic Generations on PC. It takes right. all the daytime stages from Unleashed and ports them, because I guess it was made on a, on the same engine, ports yeah. them onto Generations you can play, except for Eggman Land, which, yeah, Chip's face says <laughs> it. Um, except for Eggman Land, it takes every one of the Sonic's daytime stages, which, yeah, I think are just a blast of, of really yeah, awesome and adrenaline and cool level design. What I And what I really love about that mod is that it's not just a straight up level port, it actually goes a lot further. Like, they even edit the White World, uh, Hub World to match, and they even have, like, little White World, White Hub World remixes of each of the themes to go with the <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, look at all, all the, the hot dog, hot dog vendors. <laughs> the yeah, would you, yeah, would you believe that they're all brothers? I, I would not, I, I could believe it. It's that, and didn't they also, like, didn't they also go as far hype as to, like, replace some of the sun medals and moon medals with, like, uh, he's so <laughs> Didn't he like? Didn't he also? Didn't they also go as far as to like edit some of the sun and moon metal placements to put red rings around the levels? I'm pretty sure they did. Probably. So, yeah, makes, it makes sense. So, yeah, I would say I would recommend giving that project look see. And I, if I'm correct, assuming then, it's assuming you can still find it because I think I recall uh, it's that the uh, base link for it has been discontinued. Oh no! Well, oh, come, oh, it's the internet. It, <clears throat> it's the internet. It's gonna live. Oh yeah, no, you somewhere. can find. You'll probably find it somewhere if you try hard. If you look hard enough. I yeah. remember, I remember back when I did that mod showcase for the channel. I was looking to a colors thing, but I couldn't see anything. Oh, that's right. I turned everything into the Virtual Boy. Yeah, yeah that was kind of creepy. And I also remember that you were you were trying so hard to also look for the real Hedgehog mod. Yeah. Hmm. You know the one. You know the one where you were where you're literally playing as a real Hedgehog in Sonic Generations. That was cute. Oh uh, yeah, that was, that was cute. Cool. Anyway, I've been back well, yeah. for a bit, so uh, oh, is it okay actually, if I yeah, get my thoughts next? Yeah, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is definitely one of my personal right favorites because mm -hmm. I love the story, I love the characters, the music is gorgeous, and overall, it, it's one of the best hmm? soundtracks in the series. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, and yeah, um, great. overall. I know I am under the minority of people that actually liked the Werehog stages, and I know I'm probably going to get judged for it, but you know what? I don't care, because... Well, you know what? If it's hmm? any consolation, you won't get judgment from Celie, because she actually said she liked it, too. I know she <laughs> did, but, uh, anyway, uh, I was going to say, I really liked, um, the concept of the Werehog, 
that, you know, it's to the opposite of his speed. It focuses more on his strength. And overall, I just thought the design itself was cute. And, um... I mean, yeah. I, I thought the I thought the daytime stages were all right, especially you know uh, the Spagonia stage, but the Eggman oh, Land stage, and eh, no thank you. <laughs> but uh, overall, I know I keep saying the same words over and over again, but <laughs> that's okay. I, I just know. really really love this game, and I'm glad that I got to explore it from head to toe, even though I got what was considered the inferior version. I actually do prefer that over this version because I feel like it's oh, not yeah, as but... crammed in, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 sorry. So yeah, backing up, like not, in no way, shape, or form am I trying to say like this is the better version. I played it for the graphical fidelity and and I like the town stages, but it seems like talking, hearing out from everybody, like they did a really solid job of making the two versions unique. And Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, again, this is a really great project. I hope that there are ways that people can, like, experience it in the future without having to work with odd hardware limitations. So, with that said, thank you all so much for joining us for what has been our, I believe now, officially, we can now finally say we've now done every single Sonic game in some capacity. Uh, every 3D well, Sonic all the, game, at least. We've done, yeah, every, more or less every 3D Sonic game. And, you know what? Why don't we do that again? Fine. Let's do ah. it. No, okay. Let's also. I I know exactly what you're saying. It's time to finally go for the long requested game we've never touched yet. Sonic Four. Eh. Uh, I guess it some counts in some regard. Well. No. Anyway. Yeah, Thank we're definitely so we're definitely much. not doing that anytime soon. But until next time, guys. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Oh, you're talking about Tell Sky Patrol, right? <laughs>